Welcome everyone to this week's episode of my life and my virtual therapy dog channel. If you're new here, I'm Frank and this is my life from my point of view with my voice by dad. I'm here for all the folks who want a dog but can't have one right now. Hi everybody and welcome to this week's video. This week we're off to uh, Cape Arago. Past Sunset Bay here. This will be a, another uh, video in the backyard series. All this stuff we're driving by is uh, in previous videos. Sunset Bay Golf Course. A beautiful little nine hole golf course up there. Dad's been up there and played. I, I've never been there, but if you want to see a video about that? Let us know or video about some of the trails out this way. Leave a comment. I want to say thank you to all the subscribers, everybody who uh, supports the channel, and, and a huge thank you to everybody who uh, shares the channel. You know, anybody that can't have a dog right now that'd love to have one, that's, that's what we're here for. A dog for everybody. That would be me. The plaque to Sir Fan. Sir, blah, 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 blah. Pyrenees lips. Haven't heard those for a while. Anyway, that's uh, all about Sir Francis Drake. Back in uh, oh, 15 something. It, it's on the plaque there. If you pause the video, you can. Hopefully, you can read the plaque. If not, you know, you can Google Sir Francis Drake. There's a, a ton of information. But we're at Cape Arago South. More commonly known as South Cove. Cape Arago comes out and creates a little cove. Protected from the north. Not protected so much from the south. You, you wouldn't want to be here if the weather's coming out of the south. But out of the north... It's a great place to be. Local uh, salmon fishermen will pop in, anchor up for the night. Saves them uh, about an hour at a time. And just some great trees along the trail here. And I don't know how long the trail is. It's it's not horribly long by any means. But it is uphill and downhill. It's switchbacks up and down this cliff. So definitely not wheelchair accessible, but if you can walk, you can make it. I might suggest trying to uh, show up around low tide. You have a lot more beach down here at low tide than you do at high tide. A little, little bit more stuff to see. And that be where we're headed. About. Oh, we're, we're probably about halfway down. And Dad cut out quite a bit of it because, well, there was just a lot of stuff to sniff. And some of it needed peed on. So. And if Dad put up the unedited footage of how long it took me to walk down here, you guys would be really bored. Definitely you want to thank John there for uh, his family, for that bench. A couple benches along the way that people have put in. Oh, that Dad wants to go this way. I don't care which way we go. I just want to get to the beach. 
I know when we get to the beach, Dad will let me go for... Well, he'll let me run around for a little bit. And pretty much I just go sniff and pee on stuff. When I was younger, I ran around like a crazy dog some, but... Traverse the driftwood and the uh, rocks. And there we go. I do like a sandy beach. And there's supposed to be petroglyphs up there somewhere. I'm not, uh, I think I'm saying that right. You know, like caveman drawing kind of stuff. And, yeah, I gotta, I gotta run around for a little bit like a crazy dog. But, stick around, we're gonna pop the drone up. Take a look around. That is a really big rock. Dad was thinking it might have been part of something else, but no, it's just a big rock. And if you kind of look, it's it's really not that out of place because, you know, <laughs> there's, there's lots of that stuff around when you look from the bird's eye view. Those kind of big rocks like that. It sure is pretty out there. Dad, Dad was saying from, from this elevation we can probably see out there somewhere 10 to 15 miles, something like that. The, the higher up you get, the further you can see. If, if you're standing on the beach, you can only see about 7 miles, so... Well, sometimes I think those birds have an advantage. They, they get to see some pretty cool views. I, I'm glad Dad got the drone so he can he can kind of share some of that stuff with everybody. And if you think Dad's getting better with the drone, leave a comment. Cheer him on, he, he, he worries about it a little bit. And it really is pretty down here, there's no doubt about that. But we should probably put the drone away and think about walking back up the hill. There's kind of a neat, uh, neat little structure somebody made that we'll check out on the way out here. There, there we are. I don't know if you caught us right there in the bottom. Okay. We're off like a herd of turtles. Just kind of meandering and seeing what we see. You see these little, like, driftwood structures? Well, various different places. We've, we've seen a few of them over the years. You know, exploring this place and that place.
So somebody's got a neat little sitting space in there. And the one thing about these these structures like this is Mother Nature comes along, a big storm will come up. It'll just all be looking more like this, like just a big pile of driftwood. Now it's been a long time that uh, all that dirt's been gone. That those roots have grown uh, bark on them. Well, I'm sure it was some kind of big storm that took uh, took all that dirt out. There, every once in a while, you see one of those big trees like that that's just laying on the beach. Thanks again to John for that bench. Kind of a nice view from that bench. And I saw something. Dad Dad couldn't find it, otherwise he would have, you know, he'd have shared it with you guys, but. And you definitely wouldn't want to fall down that hill. But we are getting pretty close to the top of the... Here, there's those uh, neat, neat trees. Dad uh, utilized this one for this week's thumbnail. Click, there it is. I, I've gotten pretty good at posing. Dad just puts me someplace and shows me where he wants me and tells me to stay there. And I, I stay there while he takes a picture. Kind of been doing it for a few years now, so I'm getting pretty good at it. And I, I spotted that little little jip chuck that's what that's what dad calls them we spotted him on the way out and uh, we spotted this deer on the way out and that is going to come pretty close to this week's video so until next week have fun stay safe cheers Goodbye for now, Sunset Bay. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my videos, stick upon the thumbs up button. And for the newest, go ahead and paw that subscribe button. Thanks again. Cheers.